Hello everyone, I'm Richard Conway from Dublin, Ireland, uh, reporting from ACR 2020. And I'm going to talk to you uh, about a study um, by, presented by Dr. Curtis um, on Saturday in plenary session two. This is abstract number 939. Um, and this was the SEAM or a trial. So this was a study of rheumatoid arthritis patients in remission um, who were on combination therapy with etanercept and metotrexate. It was a double blind randomized controlled trial. There were 253 patients um, included in the study. So at the start of the study, all of these patients were in remission on combination therapy with both etanercept and metotrexate. And they were then randomized into three different arms. Now, one arm continued combination therapy with etanercept and metotrexate. Second arm had their metotrexate stopped, so they just continued etanercept. And the third arm had their etanercept stopped, so they just continued metotrexate as monotherapy. And the authors assessed these patients after 48 weeks. They used the ESTI, the Simplified Disease Activity Index, to do this. And what they found was that patients in combination therapy arm, 52.9% of those were in remission at week 48. In the etanercept arm, monotherapy arm, 49.5% of patients were in remission at 48 weeks and no significant difference between those uh, two groups statistically. And in the metatrexate monotherapy arm, 28.7% of patients were in remission. And that was statistically significantly less patients in remission in, on metatrexate monotherapy. There was also um, a shorter time to disease worsening in patients who were treated with metatrexate monotherapy. In those patients who did um, relapse um, and had a flare of their rheumatoid arthritis, they re-entered remission um, for the majority when treatments were reinstituted. So this, for different groups, this was between 71 and 80%. Um, but again, not all patients re-entered remission, um, and that's something to be borne in mind. Most of those who weren't in remission had low disease activity, but some of them uh, continued to have higher disease activity. So it would seem from this data that uh, perhaps it's better to withdraw metotrexate denotanercept um, in patients who are in remission. And it would seem that withdrawing the metotrexate and leaving patients on a tanercept monotherapy um, does not seem to significantly worsen outcomes. And there's a couple of caveats to this. It's, it's only 48 weeks. We don't know what happens in the longer term. Metotrexate is significantly cheaper than a tanercept. Um, so there are cost implications um, to continuing the etanercept while stopping the metatrexate. And we don't know if this is true for other biologic agents and particularly other TNF inhibitors. Uh, so etanercept doesn't typically uh, cause the formation of neutralizing antibodies, whereas some of the other TNF inhibitors do. And metatrexate may potentially prevent that from happening. Um, so theoretically, um, there may be more of an advantage continue me continuing metatrexate in those patients. Uh, thank you very much. Um, follow me on Twitter at Richard P. A. Conway. Uh, tune into Room Now for more updates from ACR 2020.